Hey, what's going on? Sir Blackson 97 here, back with another pack break. Today we've got a nice solid stack of mail, courtesy of Great River Collectibles. Definitely one of my favorite card shops of all time. They've sent in tons of cards just for deck profiles, binder pages. They even sent in like full booster boxes from sets. So they've sent in a lot of stuff over the years. So very happy and very grateful for them. So without further ado, let's get into today's mail. Starting with full play set of Dark Ruler No More. Just need to restock on some of my... Uh, Handy meta spells and traps. I don't know if Dark Ruler is still considered meta, but I do like the artwork on it, and I do need a few more copies, so two birds. Up next, we have a perfectly ultimate Great Moth. I always like the uh, old-school dual monster secret rares. This one from the Sacred Cards is no exception. Plus, I just think perfectly ultimate Great Moth looks really cool. Up next, we have a Total Defense Shogun. Never had one of these before, so I figured it was worth picking one up. Kind of a nice uh, precursor to Super Heavy Samurais, being able to attack while in defense position. Definitely something that uh, was super uncommon back in the day, but a little bit more common now, I guess, with Super Heavy Samurais coming back, and you also have stuff like Scare Claws. Up next, we have Obnoxious Celtic Guard. I did have an existing copy, but it was a little bit beat up, so I figured... Get a much more newer copy as well. Plus, it's just a really cool card. Up next, we have a playset of Nadir Servant. I don't know if I've ever had this card. I think it might have one copy, if any, but definitely need to score an entire playset just in case I want to build a, a little Dogmatic engine for a few deck profiles, but still need to have them just in case. Up next, we're restocking on a few Harpy's Feather Dusters and a Raigeki. Always good to have my spell and trap removal and monster removals handy whenever you need them for a deck profile. So figured I'd restock up on those. Next, we got a rarity bump for Dragoon Knight Romulus. All the prismatic secret rares just look super awesome, and Romulus is no exception. Definitely wanted to add this one into the Dragoon Knight deck profile. I think I only had one prismatic secret rare, and the other was just a gold rare. So having two prismatics is going to be super cool. Up next, we have Curious, Lightsworn Dominion. I know it's currently banned in the TCG, but I never had a copy, so I figured I'd pick one up. Plus, I just like Extreme Force. That's such a such a funny name for a booster set, but it did give me Xcode Talker, so I'm happy for that. Up next, we have two Daki, the Graceful Mayakashi. I am, I am looking to, excuse me, build a Mayakashi deck, but still kind of in some testing phases with adding some generic zombie support as well, but... Wanted to pick up a few copies of some of the cards where I still can that I know are going to go into the deck. Plus, again, it's a secret rare, so it looks super cool. Up next, another Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. Just sort of restocking on some of these. I think I'm running out. I only have one left, and just splashing a few into a deck is always a good idea. Plus, I'm always a sucker for the uh, alternate art over the original, but both are pretty cool. Next, we have an Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. I think I only have one, but I just want to pick up another. It's just a really cool-looking card. I like how some of the Elemental Heroes are same materials, Avian and Burstinatrix, but a completely different card and fusion altogether. Definitely something I really enjoy. I hope they continue to do that. But we also have a Reaper on the Nightmare. I kind of It's interesting. We made a joke about this in the store as well, that how old-school fusions are a lot more darker, like a lot more darker shade of violet on the card whereas the new ones are a lot more lighter and easier to see this one was kind of harder to see even in like daylight but still looks really cool definitely a really cool name for a card as well but i just thought that was an interesting little trivia that a lot of the old school fusions are a lot more profound and deeper shades of purple up next we have a shooting riser dragon just trying to pick up on some of the synchro stuff before duelist nexus drops i know prices on a lot of those cards have been going up so I wanted to grab one while I still could. Up next, we have a Mayakashi Return. Again, more for the Mayakashi deck. It's a really cool secret rare and definitely going to splash a bunch into the deck. Up next, we have Guilford the Lightning. Similar to Total Defense Shogun, I didn't have a copy, so I figured pick one up and make it the Collector's Tin one. Because again, it's a fancy secret rare. Two birds. Up next, we have the Jump Promo Dark Magician. I wanted to pick this one up for Violet because... I know she really likes Dark Magician, and this is definitely one of my favorite Dark Magician art, so I figured she'd really enjoy this. And to round us out, the big pull of the day, the one we were super excited to get as soon as we walked in the store, a Ghost Rare Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I am building a Galaxy Eyes and Photon deck. It's 
like 90% galaxy cards, 10% photon, but I know a lot of those archetypes kind of get mushed together. But still, one to pick one up. Super really just awesome looking. It's kind of hard to describe. Ghost rares are just really cool to me. Just, I never really seen too many up close in person. So once I finally got the first one, I think it was Odin, Father of the Aesir. It's just, this kind of printing is just super awesome to me. It's definitely wish they'd bring these back into like the main booster sets, but can't complain nonetheless. It's just an awesome looking card. Definitely glad to have it for the collection. That'll do it for today's pack break. Big thanks again to Great River Collectibles. Always my favorite go-to card shop. Obviously, you know, they need no little explanation or introduction. They've sent in just countless amount of cards over the years. Super grateful for them. That'll do it for today's pack break. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.